Hi everyone, myself Ms. K. Elijah. I am going to present an important topic of science uh, as well as important topic of nature also, gravitation in front of uh, by the sphere team members. Let's get into the presentation. So, uh, gravitation, gravitation, gravity, it's all uh, about Newton, right? So, Newton found the gravity and the universal law of gravitation. Um, just imagine we are in the classroom. I'm going to uh, teach about universal law of gravitation. I just explained to students what is universal law of gravitation, okay? I'm going to explain that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So this is very, very important law. Please mark it as an important question. If I teach like that, the student will never like me and the subject also, right? So I'm going to teach this in a different way, okay? So I'm having two bodies, right? Like, uh, one heavy ball, one lightweight ball. This is the bigger ball. Just read the line again with me. Every object in the universe attracts every other object. So every object in the universe attracts every other object with their force, okay? Which is proportional to the product of their masses, which is proportional to the product of their masses. What's the mass? The mass of the uh, heavier ball and the mass of the lighter weight ball. So it will be capital M and it will be smaller M. Read it again. Every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force, which is proportional to the product of their masses. Okay. I let the bigger ball and the smaller ball which collide with each other. Okay. What what happens is if both of the balls are collided with each other means it get back to the position. It reflects to the position, right? If it is heavy means it rotate in a slow motion and get back to the position. And if it is lighter with means uh, it is somewhat faster than this ball and get back to the position, right? So there is a distance between them. What's the distance? The center to center of the object. The center to center of the object. So that is what Newton said that every object in the universe attracts each other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the distance, square of the distance between them. Okay? This is called universal law of gravitation. Newton gives this law of gravitation in an equation form also. So let's see that. So let's see this example in a pictorial representation. This is what I showed you. So capital M is the heavier mass and small m is the lighter mass. So when we allow both of them to collide with each other, it gets back to the position. The distance between the center to center, the distance between center to center is represented as a small d. So Newton said that force is directly proportional to capital M and small m. Uh, I mean products of their masses, capital M and small m both masses, okay? Product of the masses and inversely proportional. So inversely proportional means it uh, has to in the it has to be in the denominator. Inversely proportional to square of the distance between them, square of the distance between them. So this is called universal law of gravitation. Okay, so um, I told, I uh, said that no, this is directly proportional to capital M, uh, small m divided by d square. It is very, very important in exam point of view. Just to memorize that and understand and memorize. Please understand and memorize. If I want to remove this proportionality symbol means I have to introduce one constant, right? So that constant is nothing but universe, universal gravitational constant, okay? If I introduce capital G in this formula means I can be able to remove this proportionality symbol. So then the formula will be capital F is equal to capital G, capital M, small f divided by D squared. It is very also important, okay? Uh, so, uh, we can also rearrange this formula. Uh, if we have to find capital G, means just rearrange the formula and uh, show that yes, B squared divided by capital M into small m. Okay. So, after that, Henry Cavendish found, found that 
the value of g i mean the value of the universal gravitational constant will be 6.673 into 10 power minus 11 with the unit you have to memorize this value this is also a very very important question okay then free fall what is the free fall uh, in our childhood we are all uh, we are always uh, uh, had heard one story about newton uh, newton is sleep under apple tree the apple is falling down from the tree the newton thinks that uh, why that apple is falling down uh, instead of uh, going upwards y or f is equal to mg f is equal to ma or f is equal to mg both are same okay so already we know that f is equal to capital g into capital m small m divided by d square if we substitute instead of f we substitute mg is equal to capital g capital m m divided by d square means m m cancel so what we get final small g is equal to capital g capital m divided by d square right right this is what the capital uh, small g is equal to capital g into capital m divided by r square this is all about the introduction class i hope you all enjoy this video i hope i'm also hope that i will shortly for the next round also i am very 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 thankful for the Baiji team for this great opportunity. Thank you so much.